Hello and welcome back. I'm Brain Error and today we are continuing and finishing Proc Detective 3. I'm very much looking forward to the conclusion, but most of all, Sherman! Sherman! Yes. Yes. He's like, I don't know what you're on about, man. <laughs> Look at him. Ah, so cute. Anyway. We've got everything we need to solve this crime. Um, there. Uh, do I just open? Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> mm. Music's very perfect. Can I go in? The, no, I can't go into church, so I have to actually just dig. Alright, let's dig. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Well, I still think the bugs have them. Like, why did one of them have. Um. Why did one of them have a hat? Oh well. I'll just stick these up and hope Lobster Cup has more information. Probably not. Oh, there's the hats! Great! I found the hats! I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure, it's nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Got lost hats! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright. I don't trust it though. It can't be that simple. And where is that one bug with the hat? He didn't lose- Oh, everybody's waiting for me. Um, that's okay, y'all. That's okay. Even Sherman- Even Sherman. Oh! Okay. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. Town meeting. Town meeting tonight. <laughs> Sorry. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. Oh, so we're going, going to go through all of this? Fuck, but I can't remember your voice. Hello. I would like to read my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I am nervous. Please, do not laugh. <laughs> I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, <clears throat> smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over a concentrated face, only to discover nothing there, just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. The end. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce that I have found a culprit in the case of the missing hats. <laughs> I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after the detective arrived. That's me! Quiet please, detective. 
As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Oh, you're gonna blame me? Wait! It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mall that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! <laughs> no! This is a mistake! I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. <laughs> then why do I look so mischievous? <laughs> oh, why do I look so mischievous? Why do you look so mischievous? I thought I was still saying- I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mall. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't! I swear! Tell it to the judge. What judge? Uh, uh, that's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? Yeah, it's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. <laughs> I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No! <gasps> An excellent, if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct a bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well, uh, in that case, Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life! Oh, look at him! Oh, he's sad here! Oh! Oh! Oh, so jail? Right. I wonder what motive Mason Mall has, because he also stole the journal. That was definitely his claw that we saw in the beginning. So, no. It's not the ending, right? Just wanna go home to slip what? Pond, where the air is fresh and life goes on. I've been in here. Okay, good. Jesus. You can't just do that. gonna do <laughs> to my loyal frog block readers It's our number one of my time in the bathroom. Oh, it's our number- our. Oh, our number one. That sounds so weird because it's like, our number one, you know? It's our number one of my time in the bathroom. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the head theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. 
I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I'm grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer, so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective. Hmm. This is terrible! I can't believe this! What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. Frog blog blog post. <laughs> I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. A crime? Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our science discovery in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? Mm. <laughs> I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Alright. <laughs> right. So we're now playing like this, this guy, Mystery Monkey. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Let's go. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. A little bit later. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. I can't for I can't remember the Supervisor's voice, sorry. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Uh... I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. I know the frog detective would never do something so horrible as to steal the town's hats. Well, there's a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before. Just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in the frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest? Cool. Be my guest. Be my guest. <sighs> and Mystery Monkey will solve the rest. Wow. Cool. 
new playable character. I'm glad. I was so worried then. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Wait, am I? Nice, nice. Very empty. Nice, nice. Naughty, nice. Alright. What's in here? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Okay. Where do we want to gloop this gloop? Left click. Okay. Oh. See? I told you. Do I need to spray anywhere else? Oh. Oh, there's footsteps. Oh. Where are they going? <laughs> Two lobster cop. No? Oh. Oh, yeah. Now I want to go in. Eh? Couldn't be. Oh, yes, it is. Why didn't he take this with him? Hmm. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? Mm. Oh, the journal. A copy of the detective's notebook. Ha! Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. A note. It reads. Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So, I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through the case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Hmm. This can't be true, Lobster Cop. Number one best detective? A fraud? I need to get the supervisor. I need to get to the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. There has been indeed. <laughs> At night, no less. Oh, sorry, I thought I was still in the cutscene. Mason Butthole. Where are we going? Everything's closed. Wait, everything's closed? Because he's no longer here, I guess. Ah, hi guys. Sup? Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf. You better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We hear about your good friend, the talk, dete the talk detective. The frog detective. <laughs> ah, the duality of frog. How can one be so one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all of our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trust the frog detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. <laughs> Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. Doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Heh, <laughs> shh. 
sure. We all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too? No. Uh, no, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. <laughs> Blogs are still a thing. <laughs> Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sharon Mason Moe and Lobster Cup coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where frog detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Moe has the detective locked up in the bathroom at the back of the sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Hmm? Look at him just standing there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can run? Wee! Hello, Mason Butthole. Hey! Mystery Monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room or anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? <laughs> Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it! Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cup and Mason Mole pl planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to free me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Queen with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? <laughs> you, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mesa Moe once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call it town meeting. Town meeting! Town meeting, not tonight! Pretty. Hello? What is the meaning of this? I only get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. And thank you, town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> uh, what? I, uh... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found a secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. <laughs> As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed the sighting of Mason Mo hiding behind his shop. What? I never. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mo, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <laughs> no, I... No, that's not... I... Uh... <sighs> <laughs> it 
This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved into next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I came so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mall was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I might help take you down, and I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once she had the resor res resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on a photo of you. <laughs> but what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. <laughs> Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hated that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bad room? Absolutely not, that's messed up. <laughs> no, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. May some more you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer, okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. GUN! Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real! That's really messed up! <laughs> it's not like I ever used it! Mate! I gave Lobster Cop the gun. <sighs> okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Are we going on a date now? Say, now that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, congratulations, Mr. Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old office. There are already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great! What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and loves to posty, posty base them all. Yeah. You're invited to. Oh, he's smiling again and walking. Ah, <laughs> look at him go. Are we still not going on a date? I just wanted to date Sherman. That's all I cared about. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I'm so glad that they, um, that they continued it. I forgot. I think the previous one did that as well, where I had like a fake ending. Um, yeah, I was about to lose my shit if that was the ending. But I also kind of thought, well, it's the last installment of Frog Detective, so... There has to be a better ending than that. Look at him go! <laughs> But I want a date! <laughs> nice. <gasps> Are we gonna go on a date? Sorry, I was waiting for a... Uh, fine. We're gonna get a ring ring? Hello? What am I doing? Oh! Yeah! Sherman? Sherman? Sherman man? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday! Thanks so much! I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're the number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Oh, you could have just knocked on your door. <laughs> hey, what if I just walk by you and I go out? Oh, oh. Surprise party! Yes! Oh no, and I just skipped by him. <laughs> wow! What's everybody doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Who's Susan again? Oh yeah, I can't remember any of their voices. That was like from the first and the second one. Yeah, our town's never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. <laughs> we heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! Uh, koala? Oh, you. Oh, yeah, there's two koalas now. God, that's not all, detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now, and I ordered it on Whizbay. Yeah? Eh. <laughs> Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Oh, little hat that fits you! <laughs> Happy birthday! 
Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Hmm. Why don't you just try it on? Ah! Uh. Well, would you look at that? It's a hat. It fits. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for playing, Frog Detective. We have loved making these games for you. And we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Cool. So I think that's the end end, right? Please, there must be a dating photo of Sherman and the frog, okay? Yeah, I... I I definitely like this one the most. It was the most fleshed out and um, complicated and intriguing and just it had a lot of depth to it as well. I know these stories are supposed to be like lighthearted and simple and and fun, but um... oh wait, I'm missing all these things. We're celebrating Greg's acceptance to the Ghost Potters League. Oh, see you soon, love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. S Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Family reunion. So much more was shed. Gross. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for our date. I had so much fun! So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. <laughs> I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that they all had text around them. I thought they were just photos. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. We are not the same guy. <laughs> My first day of cowboy school. Oh, he's finally becoming a cowboy. Employee of the month at the post office. Nice. So everybody's like making the most of their lives. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and I went super fast. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later. I vaguely remember her. I broke my leg. Oh, sent for my phone. <laughs> I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. <laughs> Finally met my hero, Lobster. Caught. I mean, Lobster Posty. Cute. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed this one. It was my favorite out of all of them. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's sad that there won't be any more, but I think it was a good run. And I can't wait to see what else Grace gets up to um, creating games. I hope they, they will continue creating, of course. Um, because I very much vibe with their sense of humor and everything. So thank you so much for joining me. As always, let me know what you think and I'll see you when I see you. Mm.